Hello there and welcome back to another edition of the Hot Lap Classic Remastered. This time we take a look at the 1999 Volkswagen Golf Mark IV Rally Car. Yeah, this is an interesting one. Uh, this is one of the pre-built rally cars in the arcade mode, which thanks to the GT2 Plus mod are accessible in the career mode. And as a result, you can customize them and actually use them which is very nice uh, the basis for the golf rally car comes from the 1.8 liter turbo gti out of the four golfs in the game that's the one this is based off which statistically is one of the better ones so uh, i'm interested to see how this gets along and i hope it does quite well because i always quite like this car i always thought it was a bit of an oddity the mark IV golf rally car there was an f2 kit car golf i think it came in quite late uh, for that classification and it never really reached the heights of stuff like the Seats and the Peugeots and of course the Citroen Zara But um, a very cool car nonetheless. And I always quite liked uh, this race mod. It's simple, but I think it's very effective um, Yeah, cool car. So I'm hoping it does well and I don't usually say that about Mark IV Golf So um, yeah, you know something's up. Anyways front engine front wheel drive 390 horsepower 1138 kilos It is worth pointing out rally cars um, are, like I say, absolutely equivalent to the base car, which in this case is the 1.8 turbo, so it can accept all the upgrades that that car can have. However, it is stuck on stage 2 weight reduction as opposed to stage 3, which means it probably weighs somewhere in the region of 20 to 30 kilos more than the 1.8 turbo does. However, that shouldn't really affect it all that much, and to be honest with you, um, I think it's far more fun seeing these cars than just seeing them twice with the uh, the racing modded variety. Anyways, um, this car is going to get six laps of the Motorsports Land track in order to set the best time it possibly can. Our current leader is the Toyota Celica rally car, the 1999 one. Uh, that set a time of 27.552. This car is very unlikely to beat that. Now, in terms of golfs and golf space vehicles, uh, we've had They've done pretty well. Um, we've had a standard non-turbo GTI, which is as bad as the Golf gets, and even then it was a firmly average car for the 1.1. We've had the V5 Golf uh, without racing modification, that's set at 30.7. Uh, and we've had the new Beetle as well, which is, again, golf-based, and uh, that's at 30.7. Uh, we've had a TT with this engine in it, 30.450 on its first flyer. Uh, we've had a TT with this engine in it, but that TT is, of course, all-wheel drive. And we've had the uh, the A3, actually, I just forgot about as well. Yeah, we've had quite a lot of golf-based vehicles uh, with a similar power plant. I think the A3 has the slightly older uh, variation of it before it went all 20-valve and stuff like that, but um, definitely a car worth bearing in mind. That set of 30.353. This set of 30.082. Can this... We've seen a couple recently. Can this be an under 30 front wheel drive car? That will be interesting to see. In theory, this is the quickest the front wheel drive golfs are going to get. Um, there is, yeah, just the 1.8 turbo to run around here now, the standard one, which won't be running race mod because of this is. Um, there's also the V6 Golf, which, um, thanks to GT2 Plus, again, fantastic mod, download in the description below, um, that car can finally reach its full potential, because in the base game it's a bit broken, and it uses all the stats from the V5, but uh, thanks to GT2 Plus that is a full-fledged four-wheel drive V6, and uh, it makes about 500 horsepower that thick, so, uh, I'm expecting that to be very quick indeed. And speaking of quick, 29.911 from the uh, the Golf Rally car. Wow. Yeah, we had a couple of uh, front-wheel drive cars do this recently. We've had the uh, Integra is the most recent one. Of course, before that we had, well, we searched for a while for it, but eventually the Alfa Romeo GTV broke under that, so. Very interesting st stuff. Can I take any more time out of it? Close, but no cigar. 29.911. That is impressive. That's really impressive. Um, yeah. 
Good car though, really good car. Usually golfs are a little bit strange to drive. This one was very nice, very planted. Nothing like the Beetle I drove. The Beetle was horrendous, but it was very, very quick. Uh, this makes sort of similar power to what that Beetle made, but this is a lot nicer to drive uh, than that Beetle. And I don't remember too much about the V5, but um, this is better than that, definitely. Really good car, that. Really good. Um, not a lot more to say other than to sing its praises. Really good, happy with uh, that. And I'm happy because, like I say, it's, it's a bit of a weird car for me, this. Um, I'm not, like I say, I, I hate the Mark IV Golf, but this rally car version does get me a little bit. Anyways, a 29.911 places it into 64th place. It actually dethrones uh, the first front wheel drive car that we had to go under 30. The GTV beats it by 8,000th of a second. Not quite as quick as the Integra Type R, but that was a very, very quick car indeed. And it is a lot quicker than some proper names. Quicker than a Viper GTS, quicker than the WRX Wagon, quicker than the Drag R33. It's, funnily enough, it is quicker. This front wheel drive F2-esque kit car is quicker than the ST185 Sleekers, both of them, the rally car and the standard one. So, um, yeah, really good result from uh, the Golf Rally car. So, yeah, my uh, favourite Golf in the game does very well. I'm happy with that. Anyways, that is it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Join me next time when I'll be driving something completely different. Until then, farewell.